A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a different kind of floggy Sunday video because this is a sponsor video, branded video basically. We are going to talk about high PDF today. It's from the makers of PDF Element Pro, Wondershare and maybe you have heard about them before on this ch channel or on other opportunities. So Wondershare are also the creators of Filmora for example or Recover It to recover lost Instagram um, pictures for example. And this time I would like to talk about High PDF. It's a program I use for myself on a regular basis next to PDF Element Pro. And the big advantage about High PDF is that, well, it's online available. You can get it for a monthly fee and you can use a lot of features which we are going to take a look at at first. And also I'm making this video because a desktop version is now available for high PDF and this is what we are also going to take a look at today how to install it and what the features are of the desktop version they are updating it on a regular basis so more features to come and yeah let us dive right in also engineering world log a lot of them are already gone so get yourself one if you don't have one already we are going to dive in our first stage is taking a look at the high PDF website in general here you are going to get yourself an account, you can also use a free account. You are going to log in and then you can use tons of features. Whatever you need, they are there, trust me. So if you want to get a quick overview, you can just hover over all the tools and then you can find everything. You can convert to PDF files or from PDF files. You can, for example, convert a PDF file to a Word document, to an Excel doc document, to, to JPEG picture. You can also compress PDF files. You can turn Excel documents into PDF files. And also other PDF tools that are available here are, for example, editing PDFs. So you can like edit the text in a PDF file, you can crop the PDF, so meaning you can adjust the visible page areas or you can rearrange PDF pages which is a really handy tool that I'm using so damn often. Other than that, there are image tools there, you can edit the images inside a PDF file etc. pp. Other than that, there are the dedicated convert options. They are under a different tab here and also the edit option and the OCR option. This is something I would like to uh, talk about. OCR is basically turning your handwritten notes or like scanned PDF files into, well, editable PDF files. So like you, you scan in a, a document that you have, something like the exam I was talking about on Friday, you're going to scan it in. and. In normal case, it's not really implemented as a font there, not really as an editable text. But if you take a look at the OCR, you are going to use it, then this thing is going to turn into editable text. And yeah, it's, it's just like um, turning a, a Word document then basically to a PDF file. It's pretty crazy, it's a pretty good feature. And it actually does what it has to do. It's, it's, it's a pretty good feature, it works very well. I have used it before. Now we are going to take a look at one example here. For example, um, we are going to compress a PDF file. Let's just use the first one here. Compressing means we are going to reduce the file size of a PDF file. We are going to choose ourselves a file in some way. Here on my desktop, I'm going to use my master's thesis because why the hell not? It's now going to upload, it's an online version, so it's going to take a few seconds to upload. But once it's completed, well, you can choose either a low compression a medium co compression or a high compression. Meaning this is just a matter of quality. If you choose a low compression, the file size is going to be really small, but it can happen that stuff is pixelated. So I'm, I'm going to go for a medium compression. I'm going to compress it. It's going to take a few seconds because it's like a, yeah, it's a 69 page long uh, document. And now you see we have reduced the file size from 729 kilobytes to 453 kilobytes. And now you can simply download it and then take a look at it and then you are basically done. Now that we are done with this process, we are going to take a look at the desktop application. For the desktop application, well, you, you just click on desktop up here <laughs> and then it's going to take you to a little window and yeah, you can start a free trial, meaning you can download the program. It's only like, yeah, it's, it's like one megabyte big and then we are going to install it and the installer is pretty self-explanatory so nothing really to do here. You click on install and well now we can start. 
and there we go. We have the desktop application. One thing that is still missing for the desktop application is turning it into full screen. I don't know why that is the case, but it is what it is. I mean, there, there are some things they could improve in the future, like the full screen mode. Other than that, we are going to take a look at all the options that are there, and then we are going to see what we can do with them. So at first, PDF to file, meaning this is just a convert option, basically. We are going to add a file into here. Yet again, we are going to take my master's thesis, and the master's thesis, can be converted into many documents. If we take a look down here, I'm going to bring it up a tiny little bit. We can turn it into a Word document, an Excel document, PowerPoint, image, text document, or an HTML document. For example, if we just turn it into a Word document, then there are two options, either the newer one, docx or .doc, and you can actually set the directory. If we just save it on the desktop, that should work out. And now we are going to convert it. You can do it with all the other file types, PowerPoint, for example, PPT. And yeah, it's actually pretty fast. It's, it's pretty fast, this conversion option. Now that we are done, we can click on open file. It's up here, or you can just um, open the folder where it's saved at. Now we are going to take a look at the open office document. I'm not certain how it can handle LaTeX. This is the only thing here that I'm not certain about. We are going to see how Word handles our LaTeX in there. But you can see um, it turned it into a Word document. And the thing is, the, the most important thing here is that we can actually extract the text basically from our PDF document. Let us scroll down a little bit. This page intentionally, intentionally left blank. <laughs> Great. And then we have our abstract. It actually it actually turned out to keep some of the math. Oh goodness, the, the math frag has been um, has been saved. I mean, some stuff works out. Um, for the latex, I was pretty sure that a lot of stuff is not going to turn out nicely. But you can see that we actually have a few equations in here that turned out. It can't handle the, the casework, but it is actually quite interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's cool that it's using for the Word documents, even the, the, the formulas here in, in Word. This is really cool. Next up, we are going to turn the file back into a PDF. So you can either choose the document we had um, prepared right, right now, like the docx document, or we are going to choose um, the exam from Friday, for example, and we are going to convert it now. And you see it has been converted in an instant. We, we are going to open it up and see how it looks. Basically, we just turned the picture into a PDF file, which is one of the options that has been available. And you see it worked out. And yeah, you can also see that I'm seriously using PDF Element Pro. I'm using a lot of Wondershare stuff just because it, it, it works like a charm. I like using the stuff and I don't have any other PDF viewer installed. No. Acrobat Reader, nothing. Um, it's, it's the only thing I use and it works just wonderfully. So, so consider getting yourself some of those. We can also encrypt PDF files. Now, um, let us use PDF file here. And encryption just means that we are going to put a little password on it. For example, bra. Must be six characters, okay. Um, Brav with double V at the end. And we are going to change the directory as it, yet again to desktop. And we are going to encrypt it in an instant. And if we now want to open up the file, PDF Element Pro is going to tell us, na 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 na, password. Then we are going to put in Brav. There we go. Now we can open it up. Works like a charm. Other than that, compressing PDF files is self-explanatory. We have talked about this before. Using the master's thesis, for example, we can compress it. We have our compression rates yet again, high compression, low compression. Um, oh, there's even, um, there's even a little explanation here. Oh yeah, high, high compression was for low quality. Um, I, I said it the wrong way and the low compression was for high quality. Sorry, um, I was thinking the wrong way. I was thinking if we, do the compression high, then, then we are going to get a high quality out still. Um, I was just uh, messing up the terms. Other than that, we are going to compress it. It's just going to take a second and then you can take a look at the PDF document yet again. And now we can merge PDF files, meaning 
we are going to take two PDF files and we are going to turn it into one PDF file. We are going to add our files, this one and the master's thesis. We are going to open it up, two files, onto the desktop with you. And now we are going to merge it, just took a second. And now we can take a look at it. There we go. Our first page is now our algebra exam and the other one is just my master's thesis on the fractional derivatives of the Riemann zeta and Dirichlet eta functions. And this basically concludes the overview of what you can do with high PDF on the desktop version. You can also perform OCR, but it's only available on the online option for now. You can try it out for free. So, so you can try it out and, and see if it works for you. Scan in a document and perform the OCR. It's going to spit out a docx document and then you are good to go. Other than that, you can click down here to get to the online version back again. And then you're also done. If you want to try out high PDF, you can find a link down there at the top of the description. One is going to give you a 60% discount of the monthly version. Like I said, monthly subscription. 60% discount is actually pretty good. It's just going to be a few cents you need to invest. And you can also try it out for free using the other link at the top of the description. So, so try it out. You can support the channel this way. I'm going to earn nothing from you clicking on the links down there, but, but try it out. It's, it's a good product. It, it really does what it has to do. So yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, recommend channel if you like. And I'm going to see you on Monday with regular maths content yet again. Ciao.